Hey, it's Joe Glantz from Automator, and uh, this is an extract from our new course, Rising Above PC Incompetence. And when I used to work at Corporate America, I'd look around at my colleagues and watch them use a computer, uh, and it was just painful because, and I'm not knocking them, right? They they work hard, and the thing is, they work, you know, crazy hours, and then they use a PC very inadequately, like they're just not geeks, which I don't blame them, but... Um, that's what this extract, like you'll see in here, we teach you how to use a computer more efficiently, right? So real quickly, the, the course right now has a little bit over four hours worth of content. There's 65 videos. The average length is about 3.7 minutes. So they're broken down into bite-sized things. We offer a double your money back guarantee. So whatever you pay for it, if you're not happy within the first 30 days, not only give you your money back, but we'll double what you paid for it. Um, you can get a quick outline here. I'll put the URL up on the page if you look at it. But we use, you know... Um, Learning, obviously, a lot of keystrokes, right, and navigation, just how to select text, how to do stuff with it, folder and file management. Uh, also, a lot of hotkeys for just launching, getting quickly to where you want to go, um, and just a lot of other tips. So check it out. Hope you enjoy the video. If you like the video, please like the video. It really helps us out. Check out the course if you're interested because, again, you probably use a computer a lot, and why not learn how to use it better? All right, cheers. Most of the time when you're editing a document or if you're in any edit field, you might want to select text to go ahead and perform some actions, whether delete it, modify it, or whatever you want to do. So most of the times what we do is that we use the mouse to perform a selection, but there are other ways for you to select stuff in the document. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and talk about how you can perform better selection than the normal ones that you are used to. And, um, you know, this also works in 99% of the edit fields. So let's go ahead and jump into it. So we have the document here and you are used to selecting stuff by um, holding your left mouse button and dragging around to perform a selection. Now, when you do this, you now can copy, cut, paste, you know, edit that, delete it if you wanted to. So selections are very powerful. But one of the things that I have noticed a lot is that many people don't know that there are different ways of selecting and that they make a huge difference. For example, you want to select one sentence. Um, when you start selecting, if you do it like this, as I'm doing right now, just dragging the mouse, you have to be very careful to select what you really want to. And in many times, what happens is, it's very difficult for you to do the selection correctly. So you have to be very um, uh, mindful of how you move the mouse. So for example, right now, by mistake, for example, I just selected a space up here that I didn't want and I selected a space down there that I also didn't want. And that makes it very tricky to perform the right selection. And many times what we end up doing is just copying that, going to the next document, and then removing the spaces ourselves. Yeah, you can do that, but why do that? Let me show you different ways that you can select <clears throat> text. One of them is just clicking where you want the selection to start, and then moving the mouse to where you want the selection to end but instead of just clicking you're just going to press the shift button and then click and now you have a perfect selection of the two places where the beginning of the selection is going to be and where the ending of the selection is going to be so if i want to select this sentence without the semicolon here i can just put my mouse here go here and then shift click and I have a perfect selection there. Instead of dragging around that, depending on how fast I'm doing it, I might get the semicolon that I didn't want, or that I just went ahead and grabbed the, um, the um, space and I didn't want the space, for example. So instead of me having to be very mindful about my, how I move the mouse, I don't have to do that. I just say, this is where I want to start, shift, and then this is where I want to end. And I got a perfect selection. Now, beside that, you might notice, and this is, again, something that happens in almost every single edit field that I have noticed, you can double-click a word to select it. This is interesting because if I just want to get the word general, I don't want to 
have to drag with precision to get that one word. I don't need to do that. I just double click and I get the correct word. It doesn't matter how long it is, which is perfect for many use cases. Now, interestingly enough, you can use that same logic to select multiple words by first double clicking in a word and keeping your mouse pressed. And then when you drag around, it will be selecting by word. And this is perfect because now, for example, I want to select the word you. I don't have to be mindful of selecting specifically all the characters that I wanted. I just move my mouse to the first letter and you will see that it selects the whole word. So this is a very interesting concept. You first double click and keep your mouse pressed and then drag. Double click and drag is doing a per word selection as you drag, which is perfect in many situations. So just keep in mind that if you just click and drag, you're going character by character. But if you double click and drag, then you're going word by word. So again, this is one of those things that I've I haven't seen many people use it, especially in work environments, that they don't simply know that that's available. And again, this works, for example, if you're in a browser, if you are in Microsoft Word, it doesn't matter if you're in Outlook, it really doesn't matter. 99% of this, the editors that I know do this. Now, extending that, what about if I want to select line by line? So now if I double click and go word by word, that means that I have to be going down and then selecting the end of the line. Sometimes you don't want to do that. The next selection trick is that you can triple click on a word like this, and you will see that the whole line was selected. So if I triple click, it selects the whole line for me. That is interesting. And if you use the same logic as before, you can triple click, keep your mouse pressed and then drag, and what that is gonna do is that you're gonna be selecting on a per line basis. So this is really cool. Again, it's something that we have to get used to it because no many, not many people use this, but it is really good that you can either select character by character if you wanted to, word by word by double clicking and dragging, or triple click and select per line. So keep that in mind that there are different ways of selecting stuff. And later on, you can then copy that, um, cut it or paste it in a different location or just simply type over it, which is something that we're going to discuss um, in other videos.